Well, hey guys, I'm here at Target. Let's check out what is new for October in skincare. So it looks like Versed has a new cleanser, the purest antioxidant cleanser. Now, cleansing is an important part of your skincare routine because as you go throughout the day, um, different aero allergens, particulate matter from pollution, settles on the skin surface that can lead to irritation plus you have sebum which can oxidize and be inflammatory and you have your cosmetics and whatnot that need to be removed antioxidants may remain on the skin and help aid in reducing oxidative stress from those things that damage dna and proteins and lipids but you know it's very variable from product to product in terms of if an antioxidant is going to do anything for you it has to be the right form it has to get into the skin. It has to be in the right place at the right time. But all that to say, this looks interesante. It's got a variety of plant extracts that may have anti-inflammatory properties. This looks new. Doctor's Visit Instant Resurfacing Mask. AHA BHA Complex plus Pineapple Enzymes. Pineapple enzymes are fruit acids. They can exfoliate, but they're not as... Uh, precise they're not as focused if you will as like salicylic acid or glycolic acid or lactic acid all three of which this product has by the way um, and and fruit acids can be more irritating so this mask is basically short contact therapy you apply it in a thin film and leave it on for two to three minutes and then rinse off and uh, it says for sensitive skin, you could do it for a shorter contact. Check out my video on short contact therapy. That is a good way to introduce certain ingredients that may be irritating to your skin in a way that allows you to derive their benefit while minimizing the irritation. Lactic acid and glycolic acid, they help exfoliate the skin surface. Salicylic acid really loves to exfoliate within the pore. In contrast to lactic and glycolic, salicylic acid is lipid loving lactic and glycolic they are alpha hydroxy acids that are water loving so having the combination in there may create for a more you know comprehensive if you will exfoliant depending on the overall formulation i think this is new too the smooth landing advanced retinoid eye balm this uses gran active retinoid which is a cosmetic ingredient that has Limit little to no research behind it. There's one paper suggesting that it binds to the same receptors as retinoic acid. So the manufacturers kind of suggest that in contrast to cosmetic retinol and retinaldehyde, there's no conversion that's necessary. But bear in mind, there's not good clinical research with this ingredient whatsoever. So it's largely manufacturers claim. It's, uh, it's it, the name is Gran active retinoid, otherwise known as hydroxypinacolone retinoate. It's a retinol ester, which historically retinol esters have not been particularly effective at all for like getting into the skin and improving collagen, which is presumably is what you are looking towards them to do. So yeah, all that to say, this um, may help smooth out fine lines, but to what extent it's gonna be related to this uh, Gran active retinoid versus this just being a moisturizing formula and that would be hard to tell this has a phytic acid which is an antioxidant that also can smooth the skin surface this looks new too this sweet relief overnight barrier balm i'm a nighttime treatment for dry chapped and irritated skin sunflower seed oil is an emollient that actually shows promise for atopic dermatitis in terms of moisturizing check out my video on body oils as a side note i talk about it more there this also has some seed butters really very moisturizing overall they also have a retinol body lotion gentle, press start gentle retinol body lotion now there are a lot of benefits to be had from using retinol in a body product to your body yeah i have a whole video on why you need a, a body retinol you don't need one, but it's basically a video on the benefits of using retinol to the body for various skin concerns on the body besides just your face, like sun damage on the neck, um, dark elbows, dark knees, hyperpigmentation. This looks like it probably is a pretty moisturizing formula overall. Now, retinol is not the most stable ingredient. It degrades pretty readily on exposure to air and light. So the formulation really matters. And brands do things like encapsulate retinol, and that helps in um, maintaining its integrity as well as helping it penetrate the skin. This is new from Bliss, their all-in-one perfecting daily serum, a 15% repair complex. 
with hyaluronic acid and squalane. Those are, hyaluronic acid helps improve the moisture content in the top layers of the skin, and that really does improve barrier function. Squalane is an emollient, can soften and smooth dry rough skin. Niacinamide is a B vitamin that's anti-inflammatory and actually can help improve your skin's production of its own natural moisturizing factors. Niacinamide is also good for hyperpigmentation because it slows the transfer of pigment from the pigment producing cells to the neighboring keratinocytes and it has benefit for those of you who deal with redness. Willow bark water probably is anti-inflammatory, not the same as salicylic acid. Bacuchiol is an antioxidant that can help stabilize other ingredients and also may help in you know, combating oxidative stress. Peptides can be hydrating. Some peptides have a little bit more research behind them than others, but all the research we have on peptides is largely industry focused and from the manufacturer. But at any rate, they appear to improve moisture content in the skin. This also has lactic acid, which can soften and smooth. Azelaic acid, why are they not calling our attention to the azelaic acid? That's great for acne, hyperpigmentation, and uh, rosacea. Um, oat kernel extract is very moisturizing. Pumpkin ferment filtrate. This sounds good. This sounds good. I'm not seeing fragrance, which is great. Fragrance is a common allergen and irritant, so I go out of my way to avoid it and leave on skincare products, especially facial products. I do dip I do dip on in to scented body creams and things like that because I like the way they smell, but um, if you have atopic dermatitis, uh, it's recommended that you do your best to avoid fragrance. It's a common allergen and people with atopic dermatitis are more likely to develop allergies to things that they come in contact with. It looks like Versed also has a retinol for the face. This one's encapsulated. You see them claiming that on the body one. Um, and this has Bacuchiol. Now Bacuchiol has been shown to stabilize retinol, so that sounds like, you know, probably a relatively good approach to formulating a retinol to encapsulate it and to include Bacuchiol, but um, we'll never get any like clinical trials on this to say for sure if this actually does what it claims to do, which um, they're not really making any claims, so I guess we're I guess we're all good. We just need to call it retinol and we're done. Retexturizing. Retinol can improve skin texture by improving collagen and it also works to improve skin cell maturation so that improves surface texture. So if you guys didn't know, Neutrogena has launched a new moisturizer in their Hydro Boost line that is really good. I do work with Neutrogena as a disclosure, but um, I love their Hydro Boost uh, water cream fragrance free for years. It's been like a staple facial moisturizer for me. And this new water gel is really nice. It's a lot more lightweight in consistency. It gives like a burst of hydration. It's really nice. I need to try this new product, the Ultra Hydrating Serum Fragrance Free. Um, I rather enjoy this, the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. But like I was saying earlier, Hyaluronic Acid, it um, improves moisture content in the top layers of the skin. And that's really beneficial for the skin barrier because when your skin gets dry, the um, and the top layers of the skin become dehydrated like you're losing water because you have a barrier issue the enzymes that are in there trying to do their thing they don't work as well so moisturizers really help step in and literally boost the function there of your skin barrier and get things help get things back on track so neutrogena's hydro boost line they have like basically hyaluronic acid in any kind of vehicle you could want um, they have everything from a lightweight fragrance free cream this new gel serum the sunscreen is really nice fragrance free and as you guys know this is like my favorite cleanser one of my favorite cleansers i should say has anyone heard of this glow rx brand moringa face oil okay bergamot fruit oil is fragrance and it's a fragrance oil that can degrade upon exposure to light and be pretty irritating trigger a photosensitivity although presumably they remove the compounds that can do that in cosmetic formulas just something to be aware of it's in jojoba oil which jojoba oil by itself is actually a pretty nice emollient for softening the skin surface but facial oils they don't really lock in moisture as well as like a good moisturizer and they don't really hydrate as well but where i find them most useful is in exfoliating the face of flaky skin 
because they slip in between the corneocytes that are attempting to shed and help them kick off without agitating the skin barrier. But you don't need an expensive facial oil to do that. This one is $35, adios. And this gentle foaming face cleanser, fragrance free, that's good. Uh, niacinamide is good uh, for the moisture barrier like we were talking about, it's anti-inflammatory. This also has, um, what was the other thing I saw on here? Urea, which is good for softening. This actually looks good, aside from the packaging kind of looks, you know, a little bit low budget for, th this is $15. It doesn't help that this particular, I guess, shipment seems to have gotten squished in the mail and all the boxes look like they've been tampered with, but I mean, the seals are still intact. Anyway, they have a citrus stem cell vitamin C serum with 5% sodium ascorbyl phosphate. So sodium ascorbyl phosphate is a stable form of vitamin C that actually shows promise for helping people out who have acne. It's not like an acne treatment or anything. The research on it is pretty limited, but it appears though, you know, maybe it might be helpful for cutting down on oxidative stress in the skin that could aggravate acne, especially when you have oxidation of sebum. This has citrus citrus culture extract um, and, and orange oil, citrus oil. Now orange oil, that's gonna have fragrance in it. So if you're allergic to fragrance, you, you don't wanna avoid that. Presumably it's providing some vitamin C as well, but the sodium ascorbyl phosphate though, that, that's a promising anti antioxidant. $40 for this, um, one, one ounce, $40 for one ounce. The pricing on this brand seems all over the place. This particular moisturizer is $35 for two ounces. Like I was thinking the cleanser wasn't too bad, but what does the moisturizer have? Are you guys in focus? So this is a gel cream. Comes in a glass, I think it's glass, yeah, glass jar. Squalane, that's an emollient. Niacinamide and panthenol. Those are good for the moisture barrier. It also has a peptide, some peptides in it. And, um, oh, this has fragrance. Citrol, citronol, and fragrance. So you'd want to avoid this if you're allergic. Founded by Dr. Lorraine. I'm not sure who that is, but. Here's a charcoal mask. Um, charcoal can help absorb some excess oiliness, similar to like how clays work. This also has fragrance in it, so be aware of that. Less of an issue because you're gonna rinse this off with the skin, but if you're allergic, there's that. Eolite is a clay that can also help with removing sebum from the skin surface. Kaolin is in this too, like I was saying, that's a good clay for oily skin. Clay masking is a labor of love though, because you know, you've gotta sit there for however many minutes, rinse it off, and it's not like a a keep, put it on and keep going type of thing. You kind of have to really plan your routine around it and make time for it. Oh, oh, tree hot, watch out. We've got some competition here with Glam Body Scrubs. Lo Lemon Love. Now, of course, these have fragrance in them. So again, if you're allergic, be aware of that. Castor seed oil is pretty moisturizing though. That is something people do become allergic to. So this is sugar castor seed oil, grape seed oil, and fragrance. Now, could you make something like this yourself at home easily? Yes. Is this something that's like super good for the skin? I mean, some people enjoy doing these sugar scrubs and they do soften the skin. It's a very temporary effect though. Um, and in some cases it can really end up irritating the skin in the long run, depending on your background skin. Like if you have atopic dermatitis or any other kind of primary skin condition, it could potentially aggravate your skin. But a lot of people like doing stuff like this. I like I like these kinds of things for my feet because the stratum corneum there, which is the part, that's what you're targeting with these scrubs, stratum corneum. Um, the stratum corneum on your feet is so thick that I find that you know these kinds of things are, are useful there. If you are gonna use something like this, make sure that you do it in the shower or you know like in the tub when the skin is soaked. It will work better because when the stratum corneum is hydrated with water it sands away much more easily. Like for example, if you have a wart on your feet um, and you wanna use a pumice stone to file it down before putting your wart treatment on, you wanna soak your wart first in water. Check out my video on how to get rid of a wart. I go into detail how to do it there. But the premise there is that like when you soak the wart, it's easier to file away and, and, and get it filed down so that the wart treatment will get in there better. 
yeah here we go tree hut last time we were in here they had the pumpkin spice but they haven't come out with any new shave oils yet this i love if you're not allergic to fragrance and you're looking for a shave product try this out although somebody broke the top on this one the watermelon one is really nice i currently have the birthday cake one and i don't like that scent so much heads up though those of you who shop on iherb i saw the other day they're going to start carrying tree hut so keep your eyes peeled those of you who shop on iherb um if you don't live near like a target or whatever check check there their body washes are actually pretty good um if you're not allergic to fragrance they're not drying they're pretty moisturizing they rinse off the skin really well so undefined beauty the they have a sunscreen that's tinted that i really like i've been raving about for a few years the r r sun serum they also recently came out with a um organic non-tinted sunscreen that i've been trying out and i really like it's like nice and emollient but their gel cream is also really nice it's got uh tremella in it or shiitake and tremella mushroom extracts which are really hydrating it does have niacinamide so if you're sensitive you know be aware of that it does have niacinamide which again i really like anti-inflammatory good for the moisture barrier anti-redness good for hyperpigmentation it has peptides which are hydrating and it's free of fragrance ceramides applied to the skin can help your skin barrier start to make its own ceramides which are part of the um mortar if you will when you think of your skin barrier as a brick wall so it's eczema awareness month and this eczema honey has been around for a while i tried it out i think a long time ago but i don't know that i've ever like actually reviewed this it has some really good ingredients in it like colloidal oatmeal a skin protectant um and it also has honey in it which honey is anti-inflammatory and very hydrating it also has antimicrobial properties so it's a, a good ingredient sweet almond oil has been shown to be helpful for eczema olive oil can actually increase transepidermal water loss when you just use it as a moisturizer but formulated into moisturizing products can be pretty good this also has sunflower seed oil we talked about that earlier beeswax helps reduce water loss but uh some people do develop allergy to beeswax as well as honey so be aware of that but yeah i think i liked this when i tried it it's been a couple of years though so i'm over here in the ulta section of my target peach and lily has a new well new to me good acids pore toner it's a glycolic acid toner that can help glycolic acid toners can help in uh, gently exfoliating the surface of the skin depending on how they're formulated though they can kind of be harsh um and you know if you overuse them they may end up drying out your skin and causing a lot of irritation but if they're formulated more to be more gentle then they can be hydrating and help improve skin tone radiance all of that type of thing um this also has salicylic acid in it um they don't talk about the percentage of that but that can help with exfoliating the pores they say pat on the skin after cleansing using hands or a cotton pad can be used am or pm daily um, start with two times a week and increase frequency as desired that's good uh good instructions there because like i said this may be irritating for some people um but it can you know glycolic acid can help with improving certain types of hyperpigmentation like sunspots don't put this under your armpit as a deodorant because it could be really irritating there that's a common thing people like to do put glycolic acid under their armpits these days as a deodorant and i caution against that because uh, underarm skin is pretty delicate plus you have skin on skin contact sweat moisture that really can enhance the penetration and make stuff like this much more irritating plus it's like not really gonna address the root causes of body odor um now as far as underarm hyperpigmentation i would also caution against using it there for the same reason it can just increase irritation which ultimately can make hyperpigmentation under the arms worse i'm sure you know glycolic acid does have potential to improve the appearance of dark underarms it's just a bit of a lottery slash russian roulette roulette because products differ so much in terms of the overall formulation of glycolic acid like for example i could get this i could go back over to the more target section and pick up neutrogena's glycolic acid toner and i bet they vary drastically in terms of how aggressive of an exfoliant they are 
check it out black pearl kids now has a spray version of their fragrance free organic sunscreen now with sprays i always point this out but you have to do multiple passes because they are prone to skip areas and under application after you do multiple passes then you actually want to physically rub it in with your hands to make sure you get a good layer but um sprays are a nice option when it's like really sweaty out because they feel a lot better on the skin as opposed to a cream or a lotion but they have their limitations so y'all know me i can't resist lip glosses and whatnot and i've heard so many good things about these nyx butter glosses i recently purchased a few of them and so far they're pretty good i don't know yeah so far they're pretty good but they do have flavorant in them which is like okay i didn't need that but i have this angel food cake shout out to this up and up advanced repair unscented body lotion this is such a good deal um you can use it on the face and the body it's really good it's actually very very similar to neutrogena's um old oil old oil free facial moisturizer i think for combination skin i want to say they discontinued it this i swear feels the exact same and the ingredients are pretty dang similar um it's really good only two dollars and 59 cents for 20 ounces this is good too, the Advanced Repair from Vaseline, um, $8.99. I mean, not a bad price, but you know, you come over here and you're like, hmm. So yeah, this is really good. Looks like Sunbum has some new SPF lip balms or they just repackaged them. They all have flavor, which is a common irritant in lip balms, so be aware of that. Sunbum makes a fragrance-free, flavorant-free SPF lip balm. It's a mineral lip balm. I really, really like it. It comes in a black tube but I'm not seeing it here. It's really good. All right, this is new from Olay, the Super Serum. Check out my reel on this because they don't have the night version, which is fragrance free, but basically it's a serum that's aimed at improving the appearance of skin texture, dark spots, fine lines. It has um, peptides in it, which are hydrating, niacinamide, which we've mentioned numerous times in this video already. It also has lactic acid that can hydrate and soften and smooth the skin. And they snuck in 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. That's a stable form of vitamin C that may help cut down on oxidative stress, but is not evidence-based for like getting in the skin and boosting up collagen. So if you were thinking it did that, stay tuned. We don't have research in that regard. Glycerin is very hydrating. Well guys, Target did not disappoint. They had a lot of great finds. If you like this video, definitely check out my last Target Shop With Me video. I'll put it on the end slate, watch it next. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.